Jesus Creative Arts is a small art workshop near Isheri Roundabout in Ali Mosho local government, Lagos. When Mabatunde Jimo set up the outfit years ago, little did he know that it would be a blessing to so many people, including passersby who admire the beautiful displayed finished works, as well as a group of young children who go there to learn and develop their creative skills. Three of such gifted teenage students of his are Akombi Uluwasheon, Bankole Mutiu, and Sunday Ogumbowale. The busy Isheri bus stop should naturally be a distraction to these young, dedicated artists in training. Rather, it serves as a source of inspiration. What intrigued me was how effortlessly they occupied themselves with creating beautiful artworks to the amazement of everyone watching them. I had a chat with these amazing artists and after watching it, friends, you will definitely be left inspired and committed to attaining your full potentials with whatever gift you have been blessed with. So, sit back, relax and enjoy while you learn from their story. Auntie Nena loves you always. Nena. Thank you. A picture is worth more than a thousand words. It's even more amazing when you find young people who can put this picture down on canvas. My guest today, though very young, has many works to his name. Friends, let's welcome Bankole Mutiu. It's so good to have you here with us, Bankole. Who is Bankole Mutiu? I'm an artist. I'm 16 years old. I attend Kenny Bajon with my comprehensive college. Oh. Please put your hands together for me. <laughs> what type of art do you do? Portraits, landscape, carving, molding, and banner. Wow. So, are you doing it professionally or just by the site? Professionally. Professionally. That means you get paid for it. Yeah. So what do you do with the money when they pay you? I used to pay my school fees and assist my parents. Wow. That's so cool. But that means you're still in school. Yeah. What class are you? SS2. SS2. Science, arts, commercial, arts. arts. Mm. I expected that. Please put your hands together for him. <laughs> my friends have questions for you. Friends? What would you say had been your greatest challenge since you started? There's not enough money to buy material. There's not enough money to buy materials. Wow. And that really, really affects you. Yeah. Mm. Next question. After secondary school, what next? I want to move further. I want to... I go to university to study more about art. Uh, to study more about art. Sculpture and all that. Wow. Yeah. So that's your dream? Yeah. Please put your hands together. Oh. Yeah. Mutiu, um, don't give up. Be determined. With determination and hard work. You definitely, definitely will get there. Amen. Um, I have something small for you. Close your eyes. Open your eyes. Do you know what this is? What's it called? Izu. Izu, what do you use it for? As in to hold um, your canvas. canvas. When you're painting. It makes your work easier, yeah? Yeah. So on behalf of Nina and friends, I'm presenting this to you. Thank you for coming. And I'm sure you'll do something great with this. Yeah. And that's it on End Chat. See you next week. Bye.
quality of your communication is the quality of your life. A good command of our lingua franca, English language, would definitely open doors for you. May I open the door to today's episode of the Nena Friends Brain Power Game. Thank you. The place for champions. Put your hands together for yourself. Thank you. As usual, I have three contestants with me here today. Contestant number one is... Aremu Abdullah from Addis Comprehensive College. I'm in GSS2. Let's put your hands together for him. <laughs> Contestant number two is... Abide Lawal from Johnson College in GS2. Let's put your hands together for her. And contestant number three is... Chibike Ogochiku from Bolon High School. I'm in GS2. Thank you. Contestants, each of you is opportune to pick five questions each from this board. You have just 15 seconds to answer each question. May the game begin? Yes. Good luck, contestants. <laughs> contestant number one. Number three. Number three. Bola is one of the girls who dash the classroom every morning. A. Would sweep. B. Sweeps. C. Sweep. D. Has swept. Who sweeps the classroom every morning? Final answer? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number two, your question. Number 14. Number 14. Shall we go there, dash foot? A, by foot. B, with foot. C, on foot. D, in foot. By foot. Final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Final answer? Yes. It's wrong. On foot. <laughs> Contestant number three. Number two. Number two. It is high time you dash me the bully. A. Show. B. Showed. C. Shown. D. Will bully. A. Show. Final answer? Yes. Are you sure? It is high time you show me the bully? Yes. Final answer? Yes. You don't want to look at it again? You're wrong. It is high time you showed me the bully. B is the answer. <laughs> Contestant number one. Question one. Question one. Contestant one. Question one. You have not done the work. Comma. Dash. A. Isn't it? B. Do you? C. Have you? D. Is it? Have you? You have not done the work. Have you? Final answer? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. You don't want to look at it again? Yes. Final answer? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number two. Number 17. Number 17. Karimu left Lagos dash London last night. A. Two. B. Four. C. After. D. In. Four. Final answer? 
Yes. Correct. Karimu left Lagos for London last night. Contestant number three. Question four. Question four. With the scolding, she retired dash a shell. A, onto. B, into. C, from. D, under. With the scolding, she retired dash a shell. B, into. Final answer? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number one. Question seven. Question seven. She was dash at the Catholic hospital. A. Operated. B. Operated in. C. Operated on. D, operated for. Operated on C. Final answer? Yes. You sure? Yes. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number two. Number 13. 13. The teacher advised SS3 students to make dash while the sun shines. A. Hist. B. Hey. C. Hey. D. Efforts. Hey. B. Final answer. Yes. Correct. <laughs> make hay while the sun shines. Contestant number three. Question eight. Question eight. The accused was dash to two years jail term. A. Sentenced. B. Condemned. C. Punished. D. Put. A. Sentenced. Final answer. Correct. <laughs> Contestant number one. Nine. Nine. If Yoma passed her examinations, A, in flying colors, B, under flying colors, C, into flying colors, D, with flying colors, A. In flying colors. If Yoma passed her examination, in dash. flying colors. Final answer? Yes. Final answer? Yes. This is the much that we can take on today's episode of the Nana and Friends Brain Power Game. Tune in next week to find out who amongst the prodigies will be my winner. Stay tuned. Nana and friends.